I kinda always knew that the thing is, you know, waiting for me somewhere. But I didn't know that I will blow up like this. What is up guys, my name is Ifriam. I was born and raised in Russia. And today I would like to tell you a story about how I got on the local news twice just for being black. This is not even a clickbait. Uh, today I would like to revisit the news about me and about my family. Before we start, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell. So, let's get straight to it. Well, if you remember my interview from Roman, there I kinda tried to explain, you know, the situation behind this, but I had a hard time explaining myself in English, and today I feel a little bit more confident because because of you guys because of you support me and you know watch my videos and uh, i improve i feel that i got texted by a girl let's call her jennifer so she texted me and said hey i see that you have an interesting appearance an interesting image why don't you like invite us or something like this to your village and we'll do a little tour and tell your interesting story to to the world and i and i like like, why not? Yeah, let's get it, let's get it. I, I cannot tell that I regret this, but man, it turned out not what I expected. So, uh, the article. There you can see me with my beautiful mom. Hey mom, if you watch this, hello, hello. This article has 63,000, almost 63,500 views. So, the article is called At what cost a blue-eyed blonde raised her children in the rural Russia, something like this. The head of the Biao family left the country because he couldn't take the aggression. Biao is my last name and the last name of my dad, so uh, this basically means that my, def my dad left me. We are in their apartment here in the village of Timirazevsky. Yeah, shout out to my village. 50 kilometers from Chelyabinsk, Ifrem Biao, that's me, spent his entire childhood. Facts. It is 2021, but it feels like the time has stopped here. Okay, yeah, 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 they did a review of my flat. Let's watch the video. My life. If you look at the background, you can see my farm somewhere there. Yeah, yeah, my parents. Yeah, that's my dad. An interesting feature of my family is that we don't talk shit about, you know, our exes. We, we still like appreciate them and love them. Mm. My mom actually told me multiple stories about when we were just walking down the streets of Moscow and some skinheads, you know, pulled up on us and my father had to fight. Is there anyone who would do otherwise? I tell you what, I know my mom and if she wasn't pregnant, she would beat the shit out of these guys. I mean, fuck, all my mom did is she protected her children with her life, always. Facts. This is a family of... I actually don't even remember the, their names. I remember a story, you know, we have this politician called Vladimir Zhirinovsky. He's like a meme around the world. And so, I'm not sure if that's true, but this black man participated in a checkers competition and he beat Vladimir Zhirinovsky back in like 95 or 2000, something like this. I mean, yeah, this is also a story that my mom told me. Вот я помню, 
И он был ну, настолько пьяный, что он падал. Я у него спрашиваю, все нормально? Он говорит, да ты вообще кто? Откуда будешь? Я говорю, да я местный. Он говорит, какой ты местный, ты себя видел? Я ему говорю, вот моя бабушка Тамара Михайловна, тату тату Дедушка у меня вот врачом был всегда в этом поселке. Он такой, а, так я тебя знаю, он глаз он огород рядом с моим. Я знал прекрасно, что у меня внешность может быть другая. Обычно всегда все было классно. Я просто был такой компанист, что ли. Man, how am I so calm here? Well, probably this is just me, but nowadays I don't really notice that I'm that calm. I mean, here I see that I'm extra chill. Yeah, 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 he studies as an interpreter in Chelyabinsk and works as a model. I don't work as a model. I just take part in photo shoots not to die, not to get starved. Yeah. And still, he is a regular guy from the village, a simple folk from Russia. And he always visits his mom. Facts. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Fuck you, 74. Okay, okay, the video is great. It has the vibe, it has the atmosphere, I love it. Despite my haircut, it's terrible. A lot of racist Russian people uh, decided to, you know, prove their point in the comments, but in a couple of hours they just, they, their comments got deleted, so probably we won't see them. A lot of people told shit about my mom, about my family, about me. In the Romans interview I pointed out that no one called me or reached out to me to say these things directly. I guess these were just people who struggle in their lives or something like this, right? Well, a week after the release of this article, another news channel reached out to me. It was the regional news. And so they called me and said, hey, we want to do a little different. We want to do something connected more with your modeling story. And I like, yeah, why not? A week after that, <laughs> we arranged a fake photo session and then let's just look at what another channel created with me. A guy from rural Russia is on the covers of the magazines. Well, facts, <laughs> facts. Here, I don't have facial hair because that day I took picture for my US visa. I was expecting to spend my summer in the US, but unfortunately, coronavirus. And so I, stay, I still stay in Chelyabinsk. Okay. Кинокожий парень из южноуральской глубинки стал фотомоделью. Снимается для челябинских брендов одежды и уже засветился на обложке американского журнала. Ефрем Биаурус в небольшом поселке. Окей, there is this thing in Russian modeling world. You can get posted in an American magazine. But to get the copy of magazine, you gotta pay like $70 or something like this and pay for the shipping. So yeah, I got my pictures in an American magazine two times or even three times, but I haven't like held the magazine itself in my hands. I look so bad without facial hair. Oh, I, I also wear the same, the same sweater today. В арсенале Ефрема сотни фотосессий. Вот он сосредоточенный спортсмен, вот Жигало и дамский угодник. А это настоящий мечтатель романтик. Все образы, восходящие звезде по плечу. Его снимок даже попал на обложку американского журнала. Yeah, this is the first time I got on the American magazine. Для карьеры в модельном бизнесе у Ефрема есть все данные. Это не только необычная внешность, но и довольно-таки высокий рост. 192 сантиметра в сравнении с... We did this scene from like the third take. <laughs> she couldn't pronounce the sentences properly. And I get her right now because I struggle so much pronouncing this, these words in English. It is crazy. Но модельная внешность у Ефрема была не всегда. В школьные годы он весил почти 120 килограммов, практически не занимался спортом и был полностью погружен в учебу. И только к 18 годам. No, I was playing computer games, actually. Родня приняла и интернациональный брак, и темнокожих малышей. А вот с любопытством односельчан пришлось бороться. Были у бабушки там. Пальц. Можно я загляну в коляску? Посмотри на него. В одиннадцатом классе. Because of this woman, I am here right now. This is my English teacher. She kind of planted the seed in me, you know, to, to love the language and to learn it. Мы уже не были вот в такой категории ученик учитель. Мы были коллеги. 
Модельную карьеру Ефрем планирует продолжать, но только после окончания университета. Uh, well, probably I'll do modeling, but right now I feel like modeling as a genre is kind of, kind of dying. You gotta be an influencer, you gotta be, you gotta be a YouTuber nowadays. I actually liked this one very much. Everybody from my village saw this. They were like calling my mom, texting me like, yo, I saw you on the news. Yeah, you got, you kind of put, put the village on the map. Yeah, good job. Then a little bit later, Roman invited me to take part in his interview. And I guess you know the rest of the story. So yeah, guys, I plan to do this video for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also, you can support me on Patreon. This will help me out a lot. This was Ephraim, a simple folk from Russia. Finally, I shared my origins with you. And so, yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Goodbye.